All right, we got another kinetic typography tutorial. There's just so many different techniques out there, but we're gonna break down three title techniques right here inside of After Effects. It's gonna be fun. So, hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So while you're watching this video, be sure to think about how you can use these techniques for you know your future projects. You might not use every single technique in this video, but if you wanna skip around our video and learn a very specific technique, our time codes are below, so you can skip right to that part. So let's jump right into our tutorial and let's get started. So our first technique, I wanna talk about creating a twist transition for our title. So you have one title and then it simply just rotates over to the other title, very seamless. All right, so here we are in our composition and we have two separate titles in here. And this is the two tiles that we're going to transition over to. So take your second title, the second word in your sequence and hide it right here in the timeline. So you'll have your first main word right here. Click on that title layer and go to effect transition and grab CC twister. And where it says backside, set that to the next title layer. So the one that you hid. And then simply all we're going to do is come here, say to like a second, and we'll add a keyframe for completion. And we'll move forward in time, maybe by like a two seconds and set this up to 100%. And then we can just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make it easy, ease keyframes. So now what's gonna happen is it's going to just simply rotate over. It looks better when the keyframes are actually a few, like maybe three seconds apart. Um, so there it is, it's up and it rotates over and that's nice. And you can easily change the color of your title to a different color. So we grab our uh, second title here and we can change the color of it and it sticks right in there. So a pretty cool technique. So our second technique is gonna be the seamless title switch. You don't have to have it set up like mine, but at least the principle here is fun to get a hand of. So we'll go ahead and jump over. So, so to get started on this, all we have in here is a simple title. And what you wanna do is, you know, have it up for probably a second or so, and then we'll come here to open this up and go to animate and we'll add a tracking to this. Or you can add another parameter if you want. And simply all we're going to do here is we're going to add a keyframe for tracking amount and we're going to move forward in time. We're going to go ahead and increase the tracking by a touch. So you're going to have this title up here and then simply going to expand up and there's that. And we'll make both those keyframes easy, easy keyframes. So you should have a very simple animation like this. So what we want to do is kind of halfway through this animation, go up to edit split layer. And this is where we can change our word so we can do another word here and we can change say the style of the font so i'm going to go to use a black font which is going to be a little bit thicker so there'll be an obvious you know comparison between two words that we're using here and that's fine so we have a very simple animation here but we want to keep this going and make it a little bit more seamless and expand it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our title layers and go to layer pre-compose and we can call it title placeholder so then what we need to do is go into the composition that we just pre-composed. Then we'll click on composition and click on composition settings. And we'll just come here to the height and we need to bring this down to just leave a little bit of, I guess, transparent black space uh, on top and the bottom of our title and click OK. Then we go back into our previous composition. And it's all there. But before we go even more specific here, I want to be able to reverse and loop this animation. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this animation, keep it up for, you know, half a second and we'll come here and bring in our out point and we'll grab our title placeholder, go to edit, duplicate, bring us to the end, right click it, click on time and click on time reverse layer. Just go ahead and get that a clean cut there. So boom, that's up and then it'll go back in. Go ahead and just time the in and out points to fit perfectly. We can duplicate our first placeholder, match that up. You know, we can bring in the end point by a little bit just so be a little bit of a better flow. Boom, goes back down to the next word. And that's very important. So then we'll take all of our title placeholders that we've created and we'll pre-compose it and we'll call it title repeated. So now we can create some really cool columns here. So we'll take our title repeated comp and we'll duplicate it. And we'll bring it down, of course. And we'll take these two, we'll duplicate them. Bring them down, duplicate and bring down. So we'll create a few copies of this. And then let's go ahead and take all of our placeholders and we'll bring them up. So I've created a few copies here. And what we wanna do is just quickly grab all of our layers except for the first one, offset it in time by maybe one or two frames, deselect the bottom one, and you just kind of create the staircase animation with what we're creating here. Um, this way there will be a slight delay in all of the animations, which will make it seem independent from each other. So what we'll do here is we'll run preview this boom. 
nice. So now we have a very nice independent animation of each other and it looks really nice. And of course you can expand on this technique, create additional columns. You can also go horizontally as well. So before we move on to our next technique, I want to give a huge shout out to our 500 template extension right here inside of After Effects. So this is our motion graphics starter extension where we can preview hundreds of elements just by hovering over them inside of After Effects within any After Effects project. And we have hundreds of titles accent motion graphics, animated backgrounds, and more within this one pack. And when we find an asset that we want, we can just click on apply and it automatically applies a title animation to our composition, which we can go into and easily change out our titles. And we can come into our control layer and make any adjustments to help fit our title best and easily change the color of any elements and titles very easily. And to help enhance this even further, we can come here and apply a quick cluster to take this to the next level with a click of a button. So within about a minute's worth of time, we've been able to put together a full composition with some really nice details very quick with our motion graphics starter pack. And we have several other packs that we can easily switch over to and start applying templates from there as well. So if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work, you can take a look at any of our packs off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, for our final technique is gonna be creating a seamless poster, but we're also gonna expand the technique into say a, a bonus one where we're gonna create also a sphere for our seamless poster title. So it's really fun to do. So we'll go ahead and get started in our composition. All we have in here is just a very simple title, nothing to it yet, but I wanna be able to animate this on. So we'll open up the title, come here to animate, and we'll add just an opacity and we'll bring down the opacity 0%. Open up range selector, add a keyframe for start, and we'll move forward. I don't know, but maybe by two seconds, set up to 100%, and you can make both those keyframes easy, easy keyframes. Then we'll come here to the advanced tab, and where it says randomize order, set that to on. So you'll just have your title randomized like that, and I think that's fine. What I wanna do here is grab, say, our first word that we have, and I wanna come here to our stroke width and set this up to like one. And that'll give us a very easy stroke width. You won't be able to see it if you're using the same color title but i want to go ahead and open up our title again close animator one come here to animate and add a fill color and just set it set it to opacity and we're gonna set the fill opacity down zero percent okay so what we're gonna do here is open up range selector one and we're bringing on the end percent you'll see that we're hiding the fill for our first word here and that's fine so what we'll do is we'll come here to begin for timeline and we'll add a keyframe for end percent and we'll move forward here and we can set this up to 0%. And simply all we're gonna do is all click the stopwatch and type in loop out, capital O, open parenthesis, uh, quotation, and we'll just type in ping pong. Make sure your expression looks just like this. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna animate in and it's gonna be going back and forth with our word. And I think that's really cool. All right, so what we'll do here is we'll take our word and we'll pre-compose it and we'll call it title placeholder. And we'll simply duplicate it and we'll just bring it up and we'll duplicate these two copies, bring them to the top and we'll just bring these down. And I just want to create a very simple random animation here just by offsetting these in time. So these will come in at different times and just looks a little bit more random. And then as before, I want to go to composition and click on composition settings and bring down the height to kind of close in on everything and bring in the width as well this time. So we're gonna kind of just create this very boxed composition. Okay, then we'll grab all of our placeholders, pre-compose it, and we'll call it title seamless. Awesome. So then we'll go back into composition, click on composition settings, set this back to a 16 by nine comp. So we'll do 1920 by 1080, click okay. So then we're back to normal, and then we'll go to effect stylize, and we're gonna grab a motion tile, and we'll come here to output width and output height. And now you'll have a full animation of all of our words in here. And I think that's fine. And of course we might want to add a keyframe for tile center and move forward in time to the end of our animation. And we can like quickly affect one of the parameters here uh, for the tile center. And you'll have a seamless animation of your title that will constantly be animating forever. And you also have the opportunity here to turn this into a 3D layer, hit R on your keyboard for rotation, and you can rotate this uniquely in 3D space and create just a very unique look of your seamless title. So now we'll have our animation repeated to go on for however long you want it to be, and it looks nice and random. All right, to expand this technique, let's say you want to turn it into an animated ball. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and reset all the rotation that we just did because we don't I don't think it looks good for this technique. 
But then we'll go to Effect, Distort, and we're going to grab CC Lens right there. And we're going to set the size up 250. And there you have it. Let's go to Effect, Distort, and we're going to grab Optics Compensation this time around. And we're going to set this up to 100. And now you have a sphere of your title. You know it's not a real 3D object. It does kind of fake it out and it looks like a sphere that's completely animated. So a really cool technique if you want to take this a little bit further. So that was our tutorial on these three specific techniques. If you want to learn more about you know, typography, be sure to check our links below. We've done a handful of these tutorials, so I'll link some of those tutorials in the description. And always be thinking about how you can implement these techniques into your future projects. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creative.